Hi, my name is Kelly and I've been at the Zen Center for a handful of years now. On the special 10-year celebration, I wanted to take a moment to say how grateful I am for our Sangha and for my teachers, Sensei and Roshi. It's difficult for me to think of all the ways that my family and I have benefited from my time at the Center, but I do want to say that it does leave me so inspired to share that blessing with others in our greater community. In such confusing and chaotic times, the Zen Center is a shining example of goodness in our world and a true treasure. Congratulations on this great milestone tonight. One of the things that I love about Zen Life and Meditation Center of Chicago is that, that very same Sangha. We have friends that we would have never ever met and um, we, these friends are now no longer new friends. They're old friends. And I don't mean old in the sense of age. I mean old, solid friends. And when one is doing something that's exciting, we feel excited for them. And when there are family problems or illness, we feel that and, and are um, sad and caring for them as best we can. I want to say that it, this has been a, a wonderful opportunity belonging to the Zen Life Meditation uh, le, uh, Center of Chicago, and uh, I wouldn't give it up for anything. These days, I appreciate that uh, listening to Roshi and Sensei giving their, their talks. <clears throat> I enjoy being the facilitator for the Program and Marketing Center Circle. And I appreciate the uh, Shikans program, the Commit to Sit, especially when uh, I'm confined to the house. So that's very valuable to me. So for my wife, Vivian, and I, We've met a number of friends who are a part of this community and we're really feeling blessed um, <clears throat> to, um, to have such rich uh, friends, rich experiences here. So it's really been a wonderful time and I, I hope to have more years to... Uh, to enjoy in this center. So, thank you. Hi, I'm Vivian Lund. I am so grateful to be a member of this Sangha and to be a witness to its growth, struggles, resiliency, and support during the eight plus years that I've been attending. I am particularly thankful for the sense of safety that I feel in being a part of such a loving and caring Sangha. The freedom to explore and learn about myself and my responsibilities to the world and to its people all around me is deepening my sense of compassion and gratitude. Thank you, Roshi and Sensei, for allowing me to include ritual in honoring the Four Seasons as a part of our Dharma talks, and also for your support of the Year to Live Circle and all other circles that aim to enrich our lives. Happy anniversary to all of us. The Zen Center has enriched not only my spiritual life, but my life in general with the Buddhist classes that Robert and June offer, plus many cultural presentations and events such as learning more about the true tradition of hula, participating in drawing workshops, listening to social justice speakers, really too many, too many things to, to try and name. I've also made new friends at the Zen Center. These relationships have become treasured friendships over the eight years that I've been a member of the, of the Zen Center. So I'm very grateful 
to June and Robert and very grateful for the Zen Center, which has become such an important part of my life. Thank you, Robert and June. I had been looking for a spiritual home for a long time, and I feel that I've really found it at the center. And I'm just very, very happy and grateful that we have found it. Uh, yes, and I uh, tagged along. <laughs> um, and I uh, made a home. Uh, the center is really wonderful people. I know... Uh, I originally joined, uh, or I, I originally wanted to meditate um, because I thought it would help me with my golf game. <laughs> and I probably mentioned this a number of times to people because they ask me, how is your golf? <laughs> so my golf game is worse. Well, not worse, but it's not any better, but I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. So mm. I think that's the difference. Um, you know, if you want to be satisfied with your life, um, you have to find some good people, I think. And uh, the, that's what I was impressed with. The, the people at the Zen Center are very, yeah. they're very friendly and um, they're just good people. So, that's it? That's Is it. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello, my name is Henry Hanalei West. The Zen Life and Meditation Center of Chicago has helped me in a way that I that I can explain it the best I can. As you can see, I'm 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 living with mental health issues. When I first met Miss June and Robert, they welcomed me into their to their window and they taught me the methods of mindful meditation. Since then I learned to live with a clear mind and a healthy outlook. I owe a great deal to them. The Zen Life and Meditation Center has impacted me in a lot of different ways. Um, first I got to make a lot of really lot of good friends. I got a lot of courage from all the support there. I have a lot of favorite memories like <clears throat> the retreats, one in Wisconsin with canoes, one on the big island of Hawaii, um, midnight sitting for New Year's with a Japanese breakfast afterwards, and a lot of other really good memories. It's been Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> 10 years, and the Gomaggio only gets better. So after 10 years, what do I still need to work on? The question at the moment is, why is it so hard to get up and be awake from early morning sittings? This is my mystery, and I have not learned the answer to this one yet. Waking up in the morning is my practical householder's koan. I sometimes see my original face while fighting the alarm clock and it's not a serene or composed face. It is more hungry ghost or fearsome animal than Buddha. I will keep working on the waking up problem. One of these days, we will all wake up together and I will be there with you. Even if, and maybe especially if, it's at the crack of dawn. Here's to another 10 years. Thank you, Sensei and Roshi and all my spiritual friends. <laughs>